Good morning. It's time to bring your plants in for the winter. And a lot of customers like to, excuse me, but call me something to eat. Um, a lot of people like to winter over their hibiscus. But what happens while y'all want to winter over the hibiscus, people don't like to cut them back because, Ross, you can see the blooms here. But when you decrease the amount of light that a plant's accustomed to receiving, defoliation occurs. So we can take all these leaves off, but we'll wind up with a plant that looks rather skimpy and unattractive. And as much as Marina hates it, what I'm going to do is remove one third of the foliage. When I do that, you can, Jimsy, I don't know if you can come in and get a shot of these new leaves that will come out or are beginning to come out. These new leaves will be fully acclimated to inside conditions concerning light and humidity and stuff. So this is how you winter over an hibiscus. It is unnecessary to repot them. Um, that should be done in the spring because these plants are not going to be growing what they're going to be doing, what I refer to as maintaining. Here's another one. See how unattractive this is. Not only is it unattractive, dying foliage attracts fungus and disease. So take a deep breath, calculate one third of the foliage being removed, and have at it. So sorry about the flower. But this is your way to successfully winter over and hibiscus.